Hey, you guys, this is going to be, um, this is going to be a really special video actually, um, because I've never featured, never before on my channel have I featured 78 RPM shellac records. And I've been really excited to do this. I've been postponing this video because I had a cold for a while. I still have a touch of a cold. I had a tooth extracted and that sort of put me under the weather for a while. So there's been a couple of videos. There's going to be some more to follow. Um, <clears throat> but there's been a few that I've been wanting to do for a while and I haven't really gotten around to doing it. So I'm super excited. I'm feeling better today. Super excited to do this video. And uh, so here it is. Here is an album. Hmm. Looks like a photo album. Kind of looks like a photo album, but it's not a photo album. Open it and you will find 70. And look, it's falling apart. It's so old. <laughs> um, and there's a reason why. That, that's one of the reasons why I haven't actually taken... I have more of these, by the way. Um, and I have a whole bunch of 78 RPM records from the 1920s and 30s and 40s. Some from the 50s. Um, these records, shellac records, were only made until 1959, um, so there's not really anything beyond that. So if it's going to be one of these guys, you know, it's going to be a really, really old song. Um, I had to get a record player that would play at 78 RPM speed, and I also had to get a needle. I ordered a special needle from Amazon that plays specifically 78 RPMs. Um, you can't use a regular diamond needle to play these records. Well, you can, um, but it will do a lot of irreversible damage to the record. And you can also kiss your diamond needle goodbye because it'll probably do a lot of damage to that. Um, the grooves on these records are a lot thicker and they're a lot wider. So you have to have a special needle to play them. Um, so if you flip through the album, there's a whole bunch. Um, there's some on the Bluebird label, Columbia. And you flip through it literally just like a photo album. And in each sleeve or each slot, there's, uh, there's a record. Um, this is one on the RCA Victor label, and the album's full, by the way. Um, here's some here on the old blue London label. So, what I'm going to do is I have um, my one of my Ion turntables set up, and I'm going to play a couple of these old 78 RPM records. The first one that I'm going to play, actually, is right here. Just give me a sec. And I'll take it out from the slot. The first one that I'm going to play is on the old Columbia label. This is the 78 RPM record. Um, it's in almost pristine condition for its age, believe it or not. This is from 1948, a couple of years ago. So this is going to be the first song that I'm going to play for you guys on the turntable. And I'm going to pause the video. And when we come back, we're going to be playing a song called Candy Store Blues by Tony Harper from 1948. And you guys will see that as old as this record is, it actually still sounds good. It plays and uh, it's really nostalgic. So I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are too. So... I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back, okay? All right, we're back. And here it is, as promised Candy Store Blues on 78 RPM. This is exciting. I don't think I've played this record in many, many years. And I said it was from 1948, right? Yeah, I think I did. Here you go. Thank you. 
that for And those bells that start to ring Every time they pass my door Yes, I love him I love that good, good humor man He's got love for the custard That's how this love began He said, sweet little baby you didn't get enough, don't you worry about no money, you can put it on the car. Yes, I love him, I love that good, good humor man. He's got lots of tuna fruity, I could eat it by the can. pretty cool and actually I think it was so cool I just might play another one yeah I'm gonna play another song so I'm gonna pause the video once again change the record and I'll come back and I'm gonna play one more very very vintage 78 rpm record be right back and I'm back okay so this is one called move on the London label this one is from 1949 it's by Ted Heath and his music. There it is. Move. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get ready to move. I guess. Thank you. 
All right. And that was move. Oh, well, that was kind of refreshing. I mean, that song did kind of make me feel like I wanted to move. Hold on, I'm going to pause again one sec. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I did. Um, I have so many more of these 78 records. So what I'm thinking to do is in a future video, um, I'll probably talk a little bit about like the history, maybe a little bit of 78 RPMs. I'm not going to go dive like too deeply into that because there's already so many videos here on YouTube about 78 RPM records about these, about these records right here. Um, but you know, if you take care of them, um, then they'll really last, but you have to be very, very careful because these records are so, so fragile. They break really, really easily. So I'm going to, um, bring this video to a close and I'm going to very, very carefully put that record back into its sleeve and hope that it doesn't break. And, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.